How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the SST UF-F15 2021. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 10 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place the laptop with the bottom facing up. Use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the 15 screws on the bottom cover. There are 7 long screws and 7 short screws. Remove them in sequence. There is also one captive screws at the lower right corner, which just needs to be loosened. It's recommended to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing up or losing screws. Prepare the spudger and insert it from the right side of the laptop. Once inserted, move it up and down to easily open the bottom cover. After opening the cover, use the spudger to disconnect the power cable. Push the metal latch above the connector upwards, then use the spudger to pry both sides of the connector outward to disconnect it. After disconnecting the power, hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any remaining electricity. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Next, remove the two screws securing the cooling fans on both sides. Then, remove the six screws from the metal plates around the screen hinge on both sides. Note, one screw is missing from this unit. Open the laptop and lift the metal plates around the screen hinge. Remove the two screws underneath. Disconnect the screen cable at the lower right. Then, in numerical order, remove the eight screws on the thermal module. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Slowly lift both sides of the heatsink with both hands, and it will come off easily. Disconnect the cooling fan power cables on both sides. Remove the fans. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Make sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste from the cooling module. We use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. Remove the fans.
use the anti-static brush to clean the dust from the fan blades and thermal module. When using compressed air, remember to keep a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Using compressed air allows you to clean the details and significantly improves dust removal efficiency. After finishing the cleaning, don't forget to clean the dust on the back panel. Here we used cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea-sized method if you like. Next, reassemble everything in reverse order. Reinstall the fan. Place the fan back into position. Reconnect the fan cables on both sides. Tighten the screws on both sides of the cooling fans. Gently place the thermal module back into position. Tighten the screws on the thermal module to 70% tightness in numerical order, and then fully tighten them to avoid over tightening. Reconnect the screen cable. Tighten the screws around the screen hinge. Finally, reconnect the power cable to the motherboard.
Press the power button to ensure everything is functioning. Then reattach the bottom cover. Secure the clips and screw in all the screws on the bottom cover. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.